All right, so Greg here from affiliatemarketingbiz.com and many other sites. Today, I'm gonna take a look at a, a few tips here for successful affiliate marketing, th things that f successful affiliate marketing websites do. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm using an off offline uh, version of WordPress installed on my computer uh, before I go live with the site, so this is not the official post that you'll be seeing live. Uh, I do have another tutorial on how to install WordPress on your computer, so check that out as well. Um, so basically here, we're gonna go over successful affiliate marketing websites, so, uh, tips, things they do. Um, I might actually change this to top eight things that successful affiliate marketing websites do. But for now, we'll just go into dive in here. Um, this is just assuming that you have content and that you um, have decent content and you're ready to get ranked in Google and stuff like that. This, like this post here, right now as it stands is about 2,000 words. Um, there's much debate on how much words and space you know you need for a per post. But either way, these are some things you can do regardless of that, um, that you should be doing. So keyword research is number one. Um, if you're looking for organic traffic, that is, of course. Um, and I'm using the one inside Wealthy Affiliate here. Um, if you're not a member of Wealthy Affiliate, scroll down to the bottom of this page and check it out. Click on the link and um, it's great. You start for free anyways. Um, so this is a keyword search tool. And basically you're searching for a low hanging fruit keyword, which means it has, you know, I like for beginners, I, for the purpose of this uh, blog post, I did something that has more than 100 searches and less than 64 um, QSR, which is quoted search results. So more than 100 searches, less than 68 results, basically. So that way it's easier to rank for such a keyword and you'll get the traffic for this particular keyword, which the keyword for this particular uh, post that you're reading now is successful affiliate marketing websites. So um, that's part one of, of the keywords. Part two is you want it in your URL and you want it in your title. Uh, the URL would be up here. Um, this is not the live version on the site. It's like I said, it's a local version of WordPress. So um, successful affiliate marketing websites. I want that in there. I'm gonna change this so it'll be different when you look at it. Um, and I want it in my title. Successful, blah, blah, blah. You can change your title, but don't change your URL after the fact, um, after you publish live. Um, that'll screw up your links and stuff. Okay, and next you want it in your first paragraph. Um, I have it right here, successful affiliate marketing websites. Um, so that's where I got it there. So, and you want it in your, your featured image, which this is not the featured image of the post you're looking at but it's in the tag and the alt tag of the featured image as well. So that's the first thing. Uh, next up is internal linking. Um, internal linking is links that go back to other places on your site, like this one right here. I put that in as an example. And it's, it's good to have that in the first paragraph as well. I only have one in the first paragraph, but I have another one here. These are internal links. Um, Wikipedia is awesome at this. That's why I showed that here in the post. They, they do so much internal linking on their website. There's five internal links in the first paragraph of this particular post here. And another bonus tip is to link to these authority sites like Wikipedia. Um, not, you know, right for your audience or your readers, not for in search engine optimization. But I'm using Wikipedia here as an example because I'm actually linking to a part of Wikipedia as a demonstration. Um, other great authority websites are like um, college websites, education websites, whatever. Uh, not you know sales, not Amazon. That's your that's where you need to do your affiliate stuff, but not there. So anyway, so I have a bunch of term internal links. Uh, at the time of writing this, I have like five internal links right now on my web page. There's more down here. Um, yeah, there's one right there. So uh, and this one too actually is internal at the moment. So internal linking. Um, next up, break up your content into readable chunks.
it gets too cluttered like when you start scrolling down here like up here it looks okay like even the first paragraph needs to be tidied up a bit but up here it's like you know okay you can read that content's king blah 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 uh you know there's a little bit of space it, it looks readable like you can scan through it quickly and but once you start getting down here it starts getting a little cluttery that's what you don't want um obviously this will be fixed by the time you're watching it on the web but um so that's that um and that just helps the reader people won't bounce off your site because it just looks so over cluttered with stuff or whatever so next up is comments on site um you definitely want to get comments on your sites which can be hard for new websites um again i use the um the wealthy affiliate platform an example here this is one of my sites drumlessjazz.com um this is a site or a comment that I'm going to approve, reply to any minute now. But uh, they have a really cool system where it's kind of a pay it forward. Like you leave two comments on other people's sites. Um, and then you get a comment, request comments on your sites. And uh, it's kind of a nice global comment system. People are all over the world in here, um, all ages, different things. And you can set up what, uh, what um, uh, category your site is under. Like this one's music, drumless jazz. That's just one of my sites. But... So that's a pretty cool thing um, to get the comments on your sites. That helps with uh, Google as well. It shows that your site's active and there's people engaging and then it also creates more content and things. You can actually get search for other keywords and sometimes the keywords in the comments pop up. But um, so that's cool. Um, fetch as Google right after you post. Um, yes, this is something that speeds up the Google juice. Um, you go into your Google Webmaster Tools. It's free account. If you don't have it, you should have it. If you have, a, you're doing this kind of stuff, and you just put the, you know, here's affiliatemarketingbiz.com slash the rest of my URL in there, and hit fetches Google, and it gets quicker, much quicker rankings and stuff like that. And then another one is post to Google Plus. Um, I have a thing here for my Drumless Jazz website again, where I put the uh, title of my blog post in in uh, asterisks here, to, that make, that'll make it bold. And then I put, hey folks, write something, do a little descriptive thing, and then the link. Here's some gifts ideas for the drummers in your life, starting at under 20 bucks, cool. Um, so then you just hit post. Yeah, I think you got to refresh the page, but yeah, let's do that. And there it is, the bold text, hey all, blah, blah, blah. And then people could plus run or plus not. Um, again, that's just Google juice. Google loves Google. So the more stuff on Google you can have, the better. Um, next up, YouTube video. Obviously, <laughs> you're watching this video. Um, and it's on my blog post. Uh, if you're not on the blog post, you're watching on YouTube, and hopefully you'll go to my blog post. Uh, in fact, I encourage you to do so. Um, that's why it's here. Um, so that's another SEO and ranking tip. Um, this does a few things. One, if you're watching this video, you're watching the video, and you're, you know it you keep, keeps you on my web page. And Google sees that as okay. This this website's nice. There's you know people are stick, sticking around. They're not just bouncing off of it. Um, and it also brings people from YouTube to your website, uh, and that is an excellent thing as well. Um, you can put other people's videos on your site. Sometimes if you have a review or something that you want to put on or a product, another video, you can do that as well. Most of the videos on YouTube are in, embeddable. And I always use YouTube. Uh, you could do you know, other sites as well. But again, Google loves Google and Google owns uh, YouTube and uh, Google loves YouTube too. So there's that. All right, next up, um, let's not forget Bing and Yahoo. They also have something like Webmaster Tools that Google uh, has. And you wanna put yourself into Bing, the Bing Webmaster Tools, I think it's called, it's Google search it, whatever, um, or Bing search it. Um, and that will handle Yahoo and Bing, and you want to do that as well. Some bonus things, do Pinterest. I have a whole video in here on how to create really cool interest, uh, Pinterest videos. You can check that out. Um, again, I got to space this stuff out, put some photos in. 
Another thing is you don't want to add too many affiliate links and ads and stuff to your site. For example, my page right here, there's no sidebar, it's just very clean. Um, there's actually no affiliate links whatsoever on this page um, at all. Um, and that's really good for Google because it's going to see that I have internal links. It's going to see I have a link to Wikipedia, an authority site, as we spoke of earlier. Um, and that is really good. If it had a bunch of ads on it, um, Google would say, okay, this site's not really high value. It's just a bunch of ads. And, and that does work. Now, don't get me wrong. Now, before I even put that in the blog post here, I said, you know, there are lots of sites that have lots of ads, but that's also, you know, companies usually that have big advertising budgets who advertise their websites and stuff like that. Um, I'm talking about for us D DIY, you know, affiliate marketing bloggers here. Um, so um what else do we got here okay i guess that's that's all of them for now um there's a lot more obviously a lot of tips and tricks things like that and this blog post has actually become a case study as well i have um because all the things i'm telling you i'm doing on this post so we're going to see how it goes um and that's why it's you know hopefully it goes well or <laughs> or it won't but um it should go very well um and so here's another thing i want to talk about real quick um i keep mentioning the keyword tool and other things that i use and all the training that i got is from wealthy affiliate there's there's a you know members and a whole uh community of people that beginners you know millionaires and everyone you know from beginners to millionaire basically everyone in between uh and everyone's you know friendly and everyone helps each other out and you could ask them questions if you if you join and it's completely free to join you get in the beginning there's two free websites you get two um you get the level one training um and you communicate with even the co-founders um uh, Kyle's actually one of the co-founders he does a lot of the training but um so you can take a look at that here oh, it's another one on my web page see this is internal link this is actually my live website now. And I just have a little inside look here at Wealthy Affiliate. And if you want to join, just click this, bam, John White's Wealthy Affiliate. It'll take you to a page like so. You'll see me here. Say, hey, it's Greg, blah, blah, blah. Glad you made it. Fill out your account details, and that's it. And then you're ready to go. And you can check out all these things. All the stuff I'm showing you here, and this website is hosted on Wealthy Affiliate. And I built it with all the education I got there. And there's a lot of stuff. It's just... It's really nuts. It's unbelievable too, because it's pretty inexpensive for what what everything you get out of it. So, anyways, that's all for now. Check out some of my other videos. I got tons of other videos and posts and whatever not, whatnot. And that's all for now. And I will talk to you soon.